news that they received suggestive messages from Hugh Edwards and those messages made them feel uncomfortable. Now, of course, we'll bring you all the latest on this and you can find everything that we've reported so far on our website. Uh, there is a live page for this story where you can find every detail as it happens. Just search BBC News and uh, we'll have all the latest for you there. So do stay with us here on BBC News. I'm Nancy Kachingira. We've got the 10 o'clock news coming up, so don't go away. This is BBC News. Tonight at 10, the news presenter Hugh Edwards has been identified as the man at the centre of allegations over payments for sexually explicit images. A trusted face for millions, he's now in hospital receiving treatment for mental health issues. He's the face of the BBC in many ways, particularly in terms of news. Absolutely. I don't think it's quite such a shock. I think the speculation has been so rampant for the last few days that it's more a relief in a sense than a shock. The Sun newspaper says it will not be printing any more allegations as the Metropolitan Police decides no criminal offence has been committed. We'll assess the full legal implications of the controversy as the BBC resumes its own investigation into the news presenter's conduct. Also tonight. At the NATO summit, G7 leaders formally agree long-term security commitments to defend Ukraine. The Bank of England warns almost a million households will pay more than £500 more a month for their mortgages. And drama at Wimbledon as the defending women's champion Elena Rybakina is knocked out in the quarterfinals. And on Newsnight at 10.30, we'll go deeper behind the headlines and speak live to key players on today's big stories. Plus, a first look at tomorrow's front pages. Good evening. He is one of the most recognisable faces on British television, anchoring coverage of major national and international events, often from this very chair. But tonight, Hugh Edwards, the lead anchor of the BBC's News at 10, has been revealed as the man at the centre of allegations over the payment of thousands of pounds to a young person for explicit pictures. He was identified in a statement on his behalf by his wife who said he's now receiving inpatient hospital care, having suffered a serious mental health episode after what have been five extremely difficult days. Hugh Edwards has not resigned from the BBC. The statement went on to say that once well enough, he intends to respond to the stories that have been published. All this, as the Metropolitan Police, having reviewed the allegations, said there's no evidence of a criminal offence having been committed. Hugh Edwards' statement says once well enough, to do so, he intends to respond to the stories that have been published. As the BBC Tonight resumes its own inquiry into his conduct, the Sun newspaper says it won't be printing any more claims. There are questions tonight over the conduct of the tabloid in its first reporting of the allegations and will be assessing the ongoing legal implications, as well as reflecting on what the controversy means for the BBC. But first, here's our culture editor Katie Razzle on the dramatic events of the last few hours. Tonight at 10, we're in Edinburgh, where the King has been presented with the crown jewels of Scotland. Named, and likely a huge shock to many viewers. The ceremony was steeped in tradition. Wednesday was the last time Hugh Edwards appeared on BBC News, that night from Edinburgh. The next day, the BBC quietly took him off air. Now, the secret that has been speculated upon across social media for days is public. Hugh Edwards, the main face of the BBC's flagship News at 10 for two decades, is the presenter at the centre of allegations of misconduct. 